Dia de los Muertos, or Day of the Dead, is on Sunday. And in this week's Throwback Thursday, we show you that the celebration is much closer to home than many may think. Tonight, we take you to one of the Valley's first cemeteries dating back to the 1800s. Gene Fernandez has the story. It's that time of year again. When we talk about Halloween in particular, we conjure up all kinds of figures that are colorful, uh, tradition, in various forms in our civilized history and uncivilized history, by the way. The Halloween that we know today is nothing like it was in similar festivals that happened back and began in the 8th century. Halloween's roots were Celtic. And as they say, in the 8th century, there were celebrations that centered on the harvest and the difference between equinox and the summer solstice. Festivals that the Celts had were more so oriented towards harvest than they were towards the dead as we focus on today, and most certainly not the monsters that we have. The dead entered the picture in the period going up into the 15th and the 16th century because of Roman Catholic order taking over Europe. The Celts merged with the Spaniards and whatever brought those customs into the New World. When we want to draw a picture of what was going on in the 16th and the 17th century in the New World, we must focus on Oaxaca. And that was festival on overdrive. The church had a mission in order to bring Christianity to the peoples of the New World, those very indigenous tribes that were here. But they had to make a bargain. They had to give up idolatry and then introduce Christianity. And that was a hard sell. And a lot of the people that were here, the native peoples, didn't really find that too appetizing. So the, the Spaniards really made a consideration and said, okay, you can have some of your festivals, but it's got to have a Christian tone. So hence, you have the Day of the Dead cannot be looking at uh, spirits that are coming up. No, it's got to be honoring the dead, the dearly departed. And that's how that portion of it came into being. A little further on, going up into North America and the United States and the eastern seaboard, you had the birth of the similar tradition. But it was more of a prankish type of a thing. It was a trick or treat and a pumpkin and all of that. So all of these elements merged into this. The combination that we have now as Dia de los Muertos and Halloween is an amalgam of so many different features, and that makes it ever so much more colorful. But let's get back into Day of the Dead in this part of the country, in South Texas, on the border here. It was so much more personal back in the early days of the colonization of, say, Brownsville and the Rio Grande Valley because the cemetery, the very cemetery that we're in right here, was founded in 1852. Going up in for the first hundred years of its existence, there would have been, on the Day of the Dead, people lined up here in the daytime with all kinds of picnic supplies, and they were honoring their family that had departed. They would come with paints, and they would come with flowers, their lunches, and they would camp out on the burial site and actually spend the day visiting with those spirits of their family members who had gone on. The marriage of all of these cultures gives us what we have today. But there's one element that we've got to watch out for. When we look into Halloween being what it is in present day, goblins and ghouls and all kinds of monsters and all of that, get, that gets a little bit overboard because it, was, it deviates from the original intention of the celebration and the religious nature of it. One thing that we must focus on is, is the spirit of celebration of the dead should be a happy one. My two compadres here were somebody's fathers, somebody's grandfathers. Now, they're not monsters. They may look like it. I might look like it. But that's not the focus. The focus is, is there's always a human element, and the reverence for the dearly departed has to stay in the celebration. With all of the different contributions, that is what gave us the culture that we have. And the rest is history. For KVEO News, I'm Eugene Fernandez.